Number 15. This is going to happen to you. The original caption said, My six-year-old sister was in an argument with my dad, so she drew this. The illustration was done in red marker on a dry erase board. As if it wasn't unpleasant enough, the image clearly shows a man crying, while a small stick figure of a little girl holds something to his neck. The object being held appears as though it's either a large blade or even a chainsaw. Near the drawing, a message is written, which says, This is going to happen to you. The worst detail about the whole image is that the little girl has a huge grin on her face. This photo was posted by Amazing Dan is so cool Mon on Tumblr. Number 14. Axe. This boy has clearly seen a few movies or TV shows in his day to have drawn out this poorly written message to his babysitter. Reddit user, SeaDogFly, uploaded this photo with the caption, My cousin babysits a child who is not very fond of her. She found this letter in his room. He left it on her desk. Her name is Valerie. The art piece, which is on a blank sheet of white paper, says, Dear Valerie, get out of my life. In the scribbled handwriting of a child, beneath this dark message, an illustration shows a stick figure body, what appears to be an axe, and the head of the stick figure. The head is no longer attached, so we can all assume what the axe was used for. Number 13. Best Friend When children are used in films or stories about the supernatural, they're almost always used as a gateway or fuel to make things more mysterious. Nothing is more offsetting than a child with a connection to the spirit world, right? In these stories, it's also common that the child involved provides some poorly drawn evidence of the supernatural, usually done with the overuse of a black crayon. This photo fits that mold perfectly, which to some makes it seem bogus. Others, however, are convinced it's authentic and consider it ominous. Posted by Reddit user Ripsaw99, the illustration just shows two figures holding hands with the title Best Friends. A stick figure of a long-haired child holds hands with a figure in front of a tree and blue shape. The figure is drawn entirely with black marker and has large dark eyes. Though the details of this figure's face mostly resemble an alien being, Others claim it's more of a ghoul. An explanation for this photo is even more debatable. Number 12. Stalker. This image was shared anonymously on 9gag and is apparently the property of a social worker. The caption says, I'm a social worker and today one of the boys showed this drawing to me. He said the woman followed him home. The illustration was done on paper with a single black marker and shows a very alarming image of a woman. Her eyes are blacked out and large. She has a big mouth, which is slightly grinning, and wiry hair. The method in which she was drawn also adds to the mysterious vibe of the photo, as the lines are scribbled and messy. Number 11. Imaginary Friend Now when a child mentions their invisible friend, people jump to dark conclusions. Then again, Instances like this don't really help. Uploaded by an anonymous Reddit user in 2013, this dark image seems to be drawn on either a napkin or an old piece of ripped construction paper. The illustration, which is drawn in either a black marker or, or pen, shows two figures holding hands, while both of the friends have oddly shaped eyes, which portray either a glowing or hollow effect. The figure to the right is much worse than its counterpart. The character has a wide open mouth with dark markings around it. It seems to have a nose despite the left character not sporting one. Somehow, the oddly drawn eyes look more mysterious on this figure than the other. To tie together the drawing, the figure has about 14 limbs and its head seems to float slightly above its body. The caption says, girl was asked to draw a picture of her imaginary friend. Number 10. Slender Reddit user Ace Ominous posted this photo in 2016 with a caption that reads, My five-year-old son's drawing of his imaginary friends, long-necked and a big-tooth guy with no face. 
The image shows three various depictions of the same figure, though he seems to be positioned differently in each drawing. In the first drawing, to the far left, the man seems to have a long outstretched neck and a wide open mouth with a few sharp teeth. He seems to be wearing a black suit with a white shirt and red tie. This is one reason many think that the young boy is just drawing Slenderman, because this is his usual attire. In the second drawing, the man has a normal neck, is facing forward and suddenly has no eyes. The third image is similar to the second, however this time his face is completely blank and he has two extra pairs of arms, which also remind commenters of Slenderman and his sprouting tentacles. It's likely that this kid is one of those Slender fans and his parent wasn't aware of the character. On the off chance that this was a true depiction of a child's alarming imaginary friend or proof that Slender visits children, it would be evidence that innocent minds are connected to the supernatural. Number 9. Aware Though the child's age is unknown, his name is Graham, and we can tell that he's quite young by his handwriting and the quality of his drawing. On what appears to be a school assignment, Graham was asked, what will you be doing when you're 100 years old? The illustration provided by the child shows a large box, a few tombstones and a grassy ground. In the box, an oddly depicted stick figure is shown hanging out of it and possibly waving. On the two lines provided for a more in-depth explanation, Graham wrote, Breaking out of my tomb. Well, this line is pretty funny and shows that young Graham has a rebellious side when it comes to the inevitable, it also shows just how aware the child is of life at such a young age. Number 8. Shadow Friend This photo was posted on Reddit in 2015 by user Chromatic Claws. This image is captioned, My significant other's 7-year-old daughter has a shadow friend that she sees when she goes to her mother's. The illustration, sketched on a small piece of notebook paper, shows two distorted humanoid figures holding hands. The figure to the left, which is probably the shadow friend, is made of various shapes such as rectangles. The figure has a round bottom as if it is wearing puffy shorts or even a skirt. Above its head, there are circles and random markings that can be described as a poorly drawn aura. This figure has two lines for eyes, despite the figure to the right having a blank face. Number 7. Bad Dream A likely explanation for odd behaviors in children is nightmares. While they can't control what visions occur when they slumber, they can often communicate them in creative ways. This photo was shared by Haley Campbell with Vice. The photo is captioned, I drew spooky pictures when I was 7. The image was submitted as part of an article where people share their childhood drawings. To prove that although children can create unsettling images, it doesn't mean anything darker than that. The illustration shows a stick figure laying in what is clearly a bed, staring up at a second unknown figure that is wielding a large, sharp object in the direction of the sleeping child. The background is covered in red, and words read, When you're cut up while you're sleeping. It's obvious that this photo was a depiction from a bad dream or perhaps a case of sleep paralysis. Number 6. Letter to the Underworld Though the original source of this photo is not included in any posts of it, it was possibly submitted or shared by the parents. The illustration seems to follow the format of a letter because it begins with hi and ends with love to Joey, Dad, and Deb. There's nothing unsettling about a sweet drawing from a child to their family, but the content in between those greetings is questionable. In the body text of the letter, the child asks the recipient how they are doing in hell. Next to the text, a stick figure is standing between what many commenters described as a sub sandwich, but it is likely two patches of flames pointing towards the prisoner. Number 5. Confusing Self Portrait this image has been all over the internet since it was first posted a few years ago. The common story associated with this image is that a child was asked to create a self-portrait 
and offered this baffling illustration. The drawing shows either a two-headed figure with a long body, in which one head has bunny ears and sharp teeth, or it shows one figure laying down as an animal bites at its foot. The background is dotted with red ink that is smeared in several places. The animal or creature has a huge grin on its face as it stares forward and chomps away. The human figure also stares outward with wide blank eyes as its foot becomes a meal. Number 4. The Broken Family This image is unsettling in a way unlike the others. This image doesn't deal with a creative imagination, the supernatural, or poorly conveyed meanings. Instead, it deals with a real issue that many families and children deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, but it brings it across in a heart-wrenching way that is quite dark. This photo shows a tree with a heart on its trunk and a small child wielding a sharp object. The object is pointed towards not only the tree, but the heart. This photo can actually be analyzed pretty in depth. There can be symbolism found with the tree representing a family, the heart breaking as the tree fell apart, and the child's idea that he or she was responsible for the divorce that ultimately knocked the tree down. Number 3. Leprechaun A classroom prompt made for a peculiar illustration by this child when asked what he would do if he caught a leprechaun. He answered, I would take his life. In the text lines provided, the drawing shows a green leprechaun caught in what could be a net. On either side of him, two stick figures stand ready to make good on their promise. The figure to the right is drawn entirely in red and holds a large arrow towards the mythical creature. While most kids think of these little men as magical wish granters that accompany rainbows, pots of gold, and cereal, some kids are unfortunate enough to have seen the Leprechaun movie series too young. The best bet here is that this kid saw one or two of those movies and decided if he ever came across a Leprechaun, he wouldn't play any games. Number 2. Father-Daughter Dance There's no way to explain this photo that makes it any less concerning. A vibrantly colored photo shows two stick figures holding hands while standing over a resting place. The caption says, Me and Dad dance on Mommy's grave. Of course, as an adult, we see this as a message of victory, as if the child and father are pleased with what has happened to the family matriarch. It's way more likely that the child wanted to depict happy times with her entire family and recalled visiting her mother. Chances are that her father did his best to make these memories good ones, despite the morbid mood associated with visiting a past loved one. Sadly, trying to imagine this family dancing over this plot is still hard to picture as a happy scene. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you've ever been curious as to what I look like in real life, then follow me on Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT with underscores instead of spaces. I also have a Twitter at YT underscore Chills where I post video updates. I'd really appreciate it if you followed me and feel free to send me a DM if you have any questions or suggestions. Also, I recently created a subreddit where you can submit videos and stories for future lists. It's r slash chills narrator and the link is in the description below. If you'd like to see more of these videos in the future, then hit that subscribe button because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. If English isn't the only language you speak and you're interested in getting a shout out, click more, then add translations. By translating the video, not only will more people be able to watch it, but a link to your channel will be added in the description. Number 1. Secret Admirer Love is a complicated emotion, even for wise adults. However, love is even more impossible for children to understand. When kids see something they think they like, they often don't understand those feelings or how to process them. Kids can have a crush for five minutes before moving on and can do some questionable things to try and convey their admiration. This drawing takes that truth to a new and odd level. A scribbled drawing of a young girl with long hair shows two small hands 
coming from the left of the page, holding a pair of scissors. The text of the image says, The girl next to me is pretty. I collect her hair. What's even better or worse about this is that it's probably 100% true. It doesn't seem unlikely that a child with a crush would cut and keep the hair of another child. Obviously, they don't know what they're doing is wrong or alarming. For adults though, the idea of someone taking our hair because they think we're attractive is the exact plot of countless thrillers and makes us quite uncomfortable. Thanks for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe because we upload new countdowns every Tuesday and Saturday. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of our other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy!